This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Dancy Moeller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the final week of TV44's High School Whiz Quiz Fall Season of 2019. We're so happy you can join us. I'll tell you what, some of the brightest minds have been gathering here in our studio over the past several weeks, and we are now down to the final two high schools, the students representing each high school. And um, this is always fun, but I'll tell you what, the excitement is building here in the studio tonight. Let's introduce you to our players because we have Shawnee and Van Wert High Schools who have put in a lot of work to join us here. So Van Wert, you are represented by Kaylee Jennings, Natalie Schreiber, Cadence Bowen, and Will Ogden. Van Wert is coached by Anita Zuber. Welcome back to all of you. All right, turning now to Shawnee High School. We have Reed Malcolm playing, Ryan Zhang, Colton Drexler, and Landon Schumacher. And Shawnee is coached by John Young. Welcome back to you gentlemen as well. All right, did y'all have your Wheaties and blueberries and all your power foods so that uh, you're ready to play? All right, here we go. We're going to um, do something a little different with this championship game, all right? We have 20 questions. They're straight up, 10 question, or 10 points apiece. They are all up for grabs, so it's really important that you get those buzzers ready um, and make sure that you have your answers as complete as possible, all right? So let's just take a deep breath and be thankful that we're here, right? Okay, here we go. Let's go with question number one in this first round. Give the meaning of the acronym ATV. Yes, that would be Shawnee. American Television. That is incorrect. Van Wert, you can try this one. Yes. All-terrain vehicle. That is the answer we're looking for. All-terrain vehicles. All right, question number two. Name the beautiful Indian princess who married Jamestown tobacco planter. Yes, that would be Shawnee. Pocahontas. Pocahontas is correct. Question number three. Express the decimal 0 .05 as a fraction in lowest terms. Yes, Shawnee. One twentieth. That is incorrect. Van Wert, you want to try? All right, time is up. We're looking for three-quarter, three-fourths. All right, question number four in the first round. Name the 400-mile U.S. highway stretching from Chicago to Los Angeles that is over 80. Yes, that would be Van Wert. U.S. 75. That is incorrect. So, Shawnee, you've got a chance here. Yes. Route 66. Route 66 is correct. Question five. Marie Curie won a second Nobel Prize in 1911. Name one of the two elements. Yes, Van Wert. Uh, uh, right on. That is no. incorrect. So, Shawnee, you've got a chance. Plutonium. I'm sorry? Plutonium. Plutonium is also incorrect. The answer is radium and polonium. All right, question six. In 1898, President William McKinley asked Congress for a declaration of war. Yes, that would be Shawnee. Spain. Spain is correct. How many months of the year have exactly 30 days? Yes, Van Wert. Five. Five is incorrect. Shawnee, you want to try it? Yes. Six. Six is also incorrect. It is four. So September, April, June, and November. All right, moving on. Number eight. If it is noon in Boston, what time is it in Columbus, Ohio? Yes, Shawnee. Noon. Noon is the answer. All right. Name the deadly disease that destroyed a fourth of the population of Europe. Yes, that would be Shawnee. The bubonic plague. The bubonic plague is correct. All right, moving on. Scrooged 
is a 1988 film based on which work by Charles? Yes, Van Wert. A Christmas Carol? A Christmas Carol is correct. All right, we're halfway through our first round, and here is the score. Van Wert, you have 20 points. Shawnee, you have 50. All right. Which term refers to the period from the 14th through 16th centuries when it was possible? Yes, Van Wert? The Renaissance. The Renaissance is correct. Which country detonated its first atomic bomb? Yes, it would be Shawnee. The United States of America. That is incorrect. Van Wert, would you like me to complete the question? Yes. Which country detonated its first atomic bomb on September 22nd, 1949? Yes, Russia. That is incorrect. Soviet Union is what we're looking for. All right, question 13. Identify the 36th U.S. president, one whose middle name is Baines. Yes, Van Wert. Lyndon B. Johnson. That is correct, Lyndon B. Johnson. Which America state has the most active volcanoes? Yes, Van Wert. Hawaii. Hawaii is incorrect. Shawnee, you can try it. Yes. Montana. Montana is also incorrect. Alaska is the answer. All right, what two-word term describes an elected group functioning after successors have been elected? Yes, that would be Shawnee. A parliamentary body. That is incorrect. Van Wert, do you want to try it? Sure. Yes. Legislative body. That is also incorrect. It's lame duck. All right, moving on. Identify the U.S. president when the Korean War began. Yes, that would be Shawnee. Dwight D. Eisenhower. That is incorrect. Van Wert, you want to try? Yes. Uh, Harry Truman. Harry Truman is the answer. All right. You have four questions remaining in your first round. Which ocean is off the west coast of the United States? Yes, Shawnee. The Pacific Ocean. Pacific is correct. What word beginning with the letter A designates a government's pardon of political offenders? Yes, Shawnee. And um, amends? That is incorrect, Van Wert. You've got a chance. Amnesty. Amnesty is correct. Two questions remain. In which story is the Headless Horseman a character? Shawnee. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow is correct. And your final question in round one. Give the term for a painting of objects such as books or fruit. Yes, Shawnee. A still life. Still life is the answer. All right. Take a breath here. We've come to the end of our first round, and here is our score. Van Wert, you have 60 points. Shawnee, you have 80. We'll be moving into our second round of 20 questions right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, welcome back to our championship game right now, being played by Shawnee and Van Wert High Schools, and it is a good game. Now, you might see that the score has changed. That's because I made a mistake in the first round reading the third question. Shawnee came up with the correct answer, so we are giving them that point. So the score now is Shawnee with 90 points and Van Wert with 60. We're moving on, though. We're moving on into our second round. Again, 20 questions were 10 points apiece. 
And let's go, everyone. Let's go with question number one. What two-word Latin term designates the school a person has attended? Yes, that would be Shawnee. Alma mater. Alma mater is correct. Question two, Buckingham Palace is in which city? Yes, Shawnee. London, England. London is correct. The name of which Central American country means rich coast in the Spanish? Yes, Shawnee. Costa Rica. Costa Rica is the answer. Which term used in mathematics to designate the point where the x-axis and the y-axis meet? Shawnee. The origin. Origin is the answer. What word beginning with the letter A names a skylighted central area in a building? Yes, Van Wert. Atrium. Atrium is correct. Who proclaimed in 1775, I know not what course others may take, but as for me, yes, Shawnee. Patrick Henry. Patrick Henry is the answer. Which state capital is in a state that was once part of the state of Virginia? Shawnee. Um, Kentucky's state capital. That is incorrect. Van Wert, do you want to try it? Yes. Richmond, West Virginia? No. That is incorrect. The answer is Charleston, Charleston. West Virginia. All right. Question eight in our second round. Name the word that designates a specialist who treats diseases and injuries of animals. Yes, Van Wert. A veterinarian. Veterinarian is correct. Which instrument has a keyboard, a pedal board, and pipes? Van Wert. An organ. Organ is correct. What is the capital of Alabama? Van Wert. Mobile. That is incorrect, Shawnee. Montgomery. Montgomery is the answer we're looking for. All right, moving on to our final 10 questions in our second round. Name the city where Anne Frank hid from the Nazis. Yes, Van Wert. Amsterdam. Amsterdam is <laughs> correct. What word beginning with the letter R describes bacteria that have adapted so that they are no longer affected by the usual drugs? That would be Shawnee. Resistant. Resistant is correct. Name the oldest signer of both the Declaration of Independence. That would be Van Wert. Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin is the answer. Give the three traditional principal parts of the verb fly. Van Wert. Fly, flew, flying. That is incorrect, Shawnee. Flew, flown, flying. Say it again, please. Flew, flown, flying. That is incorrect. It is fly, flew, and flown, not flying. All right, number 15. A cytologist is a biologist who specializes. Yes, that would be Van Wert. Cells. Cells is correct. What organs need for oxygen causes angina pectoris pain? Yes, Van Wert. The heart. The heart is correct. Name the period in Western music from about 1600 to about 1750 that is marked by complex details and, yes, Van Wert. Baroque. Baroque is correct. <coughs> Name the country that sank the British ship Lusitania in 1915. Yes, Shawnee. Germany. Germany is the correct answer. Okay, teams, you have two questions remaining in the second round. Here's the score right now. Van Wert, you have 140 points. Shawnee, 170. What word beginning with the letter B names a guard charged with security and keeping order in a courtroom? Van Wert. Bailiff. Bailiff is the answer. And your final question in round two. Identify the city known as the city of brotherly love. Yes, Van Wert. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Philadelphia is correct. All right, what a great round. We have come to the end of round two. 
two, and we will be taking a break here. Our score right now, Shawnee, 170 points. Van Wert, 160. We'll be back with our final 20 questions in this championship game right after the break. Don't go anywhere. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, welcome back everyone. Only 20 questions uh, separate us from our champion of the fall season of 2019 Wiz Quiz. It has been a great game and I'll tell you what, we've had a lot of great games this season and we wanna thank our judge, Mark Dickman, for keeping all of us on our toes, okay? He sits over there in the shadows and um, takes any of the questions that we may have regarding your answers. But hopefully we won't have to refer to him at all for these next 20 questions. Again teams 20 questions were 10 points apiece and it is a close game as I said Van Wert you have 160 points Shawnee 170 so here we go deep breaths everyone and we are moving on now to our final round question number one what sport introduced the term southpaw Yes, Shawnee. Baseball? Baseball is the answer. Which term beginning with the letter P designates the classification for monkeys? Yes, Van Wert. Primate? Primate is correct. Here you go, question number three. Spell the word philanthropist. Yes, Shawnee. P-H-I-L-A-N-T-H-R. O P I S T. Very good. All right. I won't spell it back out for those of you at home. Hopefully you heard there that. All right. Question number four in this uh, third round in the Bible. Who has the coat of many colors? Yes, Van Wert. Uh, Joseph. Joseph is the answer. Very good. All right. Where have you been hit if someone strikes you in your proboscis? Yes, Van Wert. Your nose. And your nose is correct. Who invented the phonograph? Van Wert. Alexander Graham Bell. That is incorrect, Shawnee, you wanna try? Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison is the answer. All right, number seven. What S word is defined as a lateral curvature of the spine? Yes, Van Wert. Scoliosis. Scoliosis is correct. People with which blood type are known as universal? Yes, that'd be Shawnee. O negative. That is correct, type O. Question nine, in 1849, what caused the major movement westward to California? Van Wert. The gold rush. The gold rush is correct. In which country is the Aswan Dam? Yes, Shawnee. Egypt. Egypt is correct. All right, I'm turning my page. That means we're coming down to our final 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. Wow, teams, this is still a close race. Shawnee, 220 points. Van Wert, 210. All right, last 10 questions. Identify the founder of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Van Wert. Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders is correct. What name beginning with the letter B do scientists give to the concept that living things can only come from living things? Yes. Biology. Biology is incorrect. Van Wert, do you want to try it? Yes. Biogenetics. Biogenetics is not what we're looking for, it's biogenesis, that is the answer. 
All right, in 1775, the battles of Lexington and Concord were the beginning of which, yes, Van Wert? The American Revolution. The American Revolution is correct. How many times does the equator cross the international date line? Shawnee. Once. Once is the answer. Name the third book in the Hunger Games trilogy. Yes, Van Wert. Mockingjay? That is incorrect. Shawnee, you want to try? Yes. Hunger Games, Catching Fire. Catching Fire is the answer. All right. 16. What term designates those who study dinosaur fossils? Van Wert. Paleontologist. Paleontologist is the answer. Give the German word for an expressway on which there is no, yes, Van Wert. Autobahn. Autobahn is correct. Which of the Great Lakes lies at the northern edge of Ohio? Van Wert. Lake Erie. Lake Erie is correct. Okay, we're down to our final two questions. And here is the score. Shawnee, you have 240 points. Van Wert, 260. All right. Okay. Last two questions. Good luck, teams. What is the medical name for lockjaw? An acute infectious Van Wert? Tetanus. Tetanus is correct. And the final question in our championship game of this season. What word beginning with the letter E designates a state of perfect balance? Van Wert. Equilibrium. Equilibrium is the answer. All right. Everyone take a deep breath. We do have a final score and we also have a champion. Here is the final score. Shawnee, very well played with 240 points. Van Wert, you are the winners with 280. Congratulations. All right, you both have worked really hard and we get to do the fun part. We're gonna take a break and come back and give you the trophies right after this. All right, stay right there. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Kewpie Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. Right, this is a time to celebrate all the hard work has paid off and a lot of prayer and those quick fingers on the buzzers also got you all where you are today and we want to um, just really congratulate both of you teams for doing so well we have a winner we have a champion in this season and it goes to Van Wert High School Shawnee High School though what a game you played as well and I'm going to let the coaches talk about why this win is so, and, and why just being here is so important to um, these teams. So John Young, you have uh, coached Shawnee for several years, and um, this is pretty special. Yeah, it's, it's always nice for the kids to get a little bit of recognition, and uh, especially early in the year when we haven't had a whole lot of practice time yet, that they can uh, have an opportunity to go out and compete. Absolutely. You have one senior on your team, and um, we want to congratulate you and wish you the very best as you move on. So, Thank you. Yeah. All right, Anita. Anita Zuber coaches Van Word, and um, we were just talking about how this is breaking a streak for both of these teams. Yes, um, we've had some first-round difficulties in the past few years, but we're really excited that we were able to overcome and make it to the finals this year. And we were glad that uh, five years ago was the last time we were here, and we're really thankful for this experience. I just have to tell you, both of your teams played very, very well. You stayed very composed, very respectful, so we appreciate that as well here in the studio. So you have a lot to be proud of. Yes, my team's a wonderful group. They work very hard. We practice on Mondays and Tuesdays at 6 o'clock at night, which is kind of a difficult time, but they put in the time, and 
very proud of all their efforts. They're a great group to work with. Absolutely. Well, congratulations and enjoy the win. All right. And we want to thank you for joining us at home. I know many of you watch and you listen. As I always tell the teams, make sure you speak up because we will get phone calls when they cannot hear your answers. So we appreciate you speaking up and being very confident in your answers. Thanks for joining us at home. We'll see you back here in the next season. Until then, have a great one, everyone. Bye-bye.